someone once said, uh, quite recently, uh, I forget who, that this was a war between commodities and capital. And as you rightly say, much of that capital are worthless pieces of paper built on a mountain of debt. But commodities are real things. If you've got oil, if you've got rare earth magnets, as China has 97% of the world's rare earth magnets, if you have oil, if you have gas, if you have gold, silver, lithium, and all the other things that are now vital necessities in the world economic order, you're much stronger than a crowd of people who've got a pile of paper and a mountain of debt, in, incalculable, unfathomable debt, if you begin to look at uh, some of the issues around financial derivatives. But we'll not get any deeper into that in this discussion. Uh, secondly, the GDP of the countries with commodities uh, is a genuine GDP. The GDP of the Western countries, and I'll come back to what is the West in a minute, uh, contain all kinds of things. The proceeds of organized crime, the proceeds of prostitution, the proceeds of illegal drug dealing, or uh, to elevate it slightly, but only slightly, if I'm a lawyer and I write a legal letter to you, another lawyer, uh, the uh, bill for me writing that letter is added to our GDP. But of course, it's not real. It didn't create anything. You can't eat it. You can't fuel your car with it. You can't warm your house with it. You can't build a, a road with it or repair a bridge with it. You can't do anything with it. It is merely paper. 